What's going on, YouTube? I'm back again with another video for y'all, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. But we're going to get right back into it. Now, this is going to be a, um, a video of three mistakes that I see people doing all the time that's keeping their credit score down. All right? Three mistakes. So the first mistake and why your credit score is not going up is you keep being late on your bills or your credit card, right? Your number one um, factor in your credit score is payment history, all right? So if it's if you can't, can't pay stuff on time, essentially, then your credit will never be good. Like your credit will always be low if you cannot pay stuff on time. So if you continuously get late payment after late payment after late payment, get a new account, late payments, new account, late payments, your credit will never be good because your payment history weighs so much in your credit score. All right. It weighs so much in your credit score. All right. So um, put everything that's on your credit. Make sure you put it on auto pay. Right. So you don't have to deal with having late payments. All right. You have 100 percent payment history. Your score is going to be somewhat, you know, decent. Okay, it should be somewhat decent, depending on the rest of your profile. All right, so that's the first thing I'm think, saying. Uh, it's the first thing that I'm um that I see all the time that people, um, you know, keep messing up on their credit profile, which hindering their score from growing. Second is utilization on credit cards. I know when you get a thousand dollar limit, you want to max that card out. All right, some people might have bad spending problems or whatever, but you max that card out and it reports your score is going to tank. Okay. Your score is going to tank. How the credit algorithm works is that you don't want to look like you need the credit. If you look like you need the credit, you're going to get penalized. All right. You're going to get penalized if you look like you need it. So keep the balance on the card at like 10%. All right. And for my more advanced people, you can max the card out as long as you know the statement date on the card. If you know the statement date on the card, then you can max the card out and then have that balance down to 10% at the time of the statement date. All right, the statement date is when it re reports to your credit. All right, so if you figure out your statement date by calling the company, it should be on Credit Karma. It's in your app where your statements are at. That's how you can see your statements. All right, so you want your utilization to be at 10%, anywhere between like two to 10% to maximize on your credit score. Now, if you have 100% payment history and your credit card uses is 2 to 10%, your credit is more, more than likely going to be somewhat decent. All right. Now, the last thing that I see a lot of people do that really messes up their credit is that they completely disregard the little credit cards and stuff that they got when they was 18, 19, 20. All right. They disregard them and they close them. All right. So for y'all that don't know, age is a big factor in your credit report. All right. Age is a big factor. So by you getting a card at 18, like, you know, I see girls get um, Forever 21 cards all the time. All right. So let's say it's Forever 21 card. You got it when you was 18, 19. You 30 now. That's 11. Uh, that's 10, 11 years history. Right. 10, 11, 12 years history right there. So by you closing that account. You're going to lose that 10, 11, 12 years of history on your report and your score could tank because of that, depending on, you know, how you've been building out your credit since then. All right. You do not want to lose all that history. So when people close out these accounts just because they live $300 credit cards or whatever, or they, you know, $500 Macy's card or something like that. It has age to it. So you want to keep that active, especially if it has 100% payment history, all right? Because it's really going to knock your score down if you close that card. And a lot of people don't know. Uh, they just think like, oh, I don't use it. I'm just close it. And then next, you know, when they report, they score tank. They're like, hold on, what happened? That's why you need to understand the credit algorithm. All right. So those are the top three things that I see on, you know, what people do to kind of mess their credit up. All right, so make sure you share this out with, you know, five people, 10 people. Share this out with everybody uh, looking to, you know, build their credit so they can see some of the stuff that they need to avoid so they can actually just keep building their credit. All right, so that's my video for today, y'all. Man, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to see y'all in the next video.